Hello and welcome to another horse. Hello, horse. <sighs> That's my horse's way of saying hello. How you doing, mate? Anyway, what we are, we are now in this car again and we are going to see what it boosts like and the horse is going to watch us. So, um, it's gonna be quite difficult to me to film this and drive. I'm just gonna basically go first, second and third gear and we're gonna see what we boost at. Um, first gear is not gonna really count, but second gear will. And I kind of shoot it in. Right, unfortunately I did try and film it as I was driving, but I just couldn't do it. That's first, second and third gear and you can see we just reached just under 200 uh, kpa and that was my foot kind of flat to the floor in third gear so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to uh carbon clean it i really don't think it's going to make too much difference to be completely honest with you uh, i think it's more of a turbo issue but we're going to carbon clean it and we're going to see if the noise or what happens to the noise or does it boost more then i'm going to stick a um a bore scope down the turbo and see if we can see anything and uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So back to the shed. Okay, we've got it hooked up. We're drawing just over 22 amps, nearly 23 amps. Here is our bad boy, our Carbon McLean, which we just get loads of good comments about. <laughs> so yeah, if this boosts higher, then we know it's done something it really is as simple as that so i gotta wait now and uh see what happens see if it will our carbon clean machine do anything will we still have the whistle i think we still have the whistle but let's see sort it okay it's been on the carbon cleaner for an hour i don't know if i'm gonna be able to film this again because it's just i've got it in a slightly different position let's see already it just feels yeah I can't I can't do this let me uh, let me uh, film this uh, properly and see oh but look already we're over 200 we was just under 200 before and now we're over 200 so already it's made a difference okay I've just uh, removed the scan tool for the minute just so we can hear this does that yeah, unfortunately, the whistling is still there, just like I thought it would be. But now, let's just see what the scan tool says. And look at that, there we go. Over 200, I don't know, maybe 240 uh, KPAs where it was just under 200 before. So there we go, it's made a difference. The whistle is still there, I thought it would be to be honest. But the carbon clean has definitely done something. So what we're gonna do now is we'll get it back to the shed and we'll stick a camera down and we'll see if we can see anything with the turbo. I'm driving down the road on the left hand side. If you wanna know left, this is my left, this is my right. Because the steering wheel is on the correct side of the car. Um, the uh, I can hear the turbo whistling like crazy when with the windows down. It's definitely 100% coming from the turbo. So we're going to now put the scope down at the bore scope. And we're going to see if we can see something. Again, not really too sure if we're going to, but we'll try. I've taken the uh, feed pipe off, as you can see, and as you can see, the, there's like a 90 degree bend on the turbo, so I can't get into it. You can't see it. From any angle, if I put one of the phone, won't go. <laughs> um, so I'm going to use the bore scope to see in it. So at the minute, we've got no codes. The car is running fine, plenty of power. We're now boosting more. I don't know if you've seen the first video. Um, sorry, actually no, this video. The first video we did the um, first video. What did we do on the first video? Of this we did the. Oh yeah, we did the smoke test. Before the carbon clean, we had just under 200 kPa of boost, and after we had 240, I believe. Um, so we're boosting more, but we still got this horrible whine, which I kind of knew we would have. I just did the carbon cleaning machine just to kind of see if it would make any effect, and I can show people. I will be doing more on that. But anyway, so let's turn this on 
let me just um, make it brighter and let's get oh, let's go in to the oh ho, 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 ho. can you see that hold on wow <laughs> I wonder why it was whining <laughs> look at them fins wow this car was running with no codes I can't believe how well that was actually running that's unbelievable Let's see if I can just kind of get a better view of that wow look at that I'm surprised just how well this was running look at every single fin just gone wow wow um yeah i knew it was kind of the turbo problem experience told me that but i was not expecting that i was not expecting that so uh like i said this engine has been changed i'm not sure about the turbo but that's not good from the pictures from the bore scope um i just i mean they're not cheap but i just yeah it is what it is it's the only one i have so there's nothing i can do about it but you can get the idea from it anyway um and yeah at least we can see what's going on all right so in the first video we showed the importance of a smoke test now with this car like i said there's no error codes there's no engine light on the boost is fine it's driving absolutely fine apart from the whistle but it's physically driving okay uh, plenty of power even before we did the carbon clean yet yeah, there's a bit more power now but there's going to be even more after this turbo is done so that just goes to show that sometimes you know you don't have error codes but obviously we had an ex we had a turbo whistle that's why we did the smoke test first that came back okay um, and without the smoke test you're always wondering have we got a pinhole leak somewhere in the system you know smoke test is important then I just did the carbon clean just for a bit of shits and giggles to be honest just to see if it'd make any difference and to try and shut a few more people up that it's made a difference now we can clearly see the turbo is gone and uh, yeah so that's it so look hope it helps please like share comment and subscribe as always don't forget links up here links down below but most importantly don't forget get your hands dirty see you for the next one sorted